Hello all. So recently I decided to start work on the crankshaft simply because I'm getting a bit bored of plate work on the tender and whatnot and I fancy something a bit more mechanical. As you can see here I've got three of the four webs. I cut these out of half inch steel sheet with an angle grinder and then I've just uh, squared them off in the milling machine. The fourth one Currently I'm boring, I know I'm boring but I'm also boring these webs out. These are bored out to 1 and 132 to take the um, take the actual shaft that will go through them. I'm going to make it up out of three different pieces and hopefully use Loctite to put it all together. I've got the actual shaft there, that's a piece of 30mm EN8. So that's going to be interesting, a bit of turning on that, and uh, yeah, so I'll just continue on boring these. Turns out that this is a very, very tedious procedure, taking 20 thou cuts all the way up to 1 and 132. Sure you don't want to watch me do that ever however many hundreds of times I'll have to so I'll see you at the end Hi right, guys it's time now to start work on the center part of the crankshaft I'm just gonna start turning it down now to 1 and 132 s make sure that the tail stock and everything's in alignment and make sure that there's no taper on the turn across the distance So I'm holding the mic left handed here but I've actually got under half a thou across that distance there which is around 4 inches so I'm quite happy with that I mean I'm gonna when I fit the bear and have you know a thou of play so it's really not too bad I don't think So I flipped the crankshaft around now and I'm machining the other end this end also is down to 0.9 of an inch. I find him with this EN8 that if I take, say, 10 15 thou cuts, then it does leave a quite a good finish. But as soon as you try to take a 1 to, one to 2 thou finishing cut, it's absolutely horrible. This morning I just turned up the crank pins. I decided to turn them out of stainless steel because they seem to give a better finish than this EN8. Now I've used this Loctite 638. And what I'm going to do is pin them in two directions. So I'm going to drill in here, pin across, and then I'm also going to drill down from the top and pin with quarter inch steel. So with Loctite and that, I can't really see it moving. I've lined everything up with you know, square edge. So everything's looking pretty good so far. Got the crankshaft now set up in the rotary table in four jaw. On the mill, I'm just using it to take out the grooves that the straps holding the counterweights will go in. I've done one already, and that's quite nice. And I'm just finishing this one now. The top cell I'll do on the lathe because they're. Uh, Obviously you need to be turned. So the next job is to mill the keyway slots. These are 3 16 deep by 15 64 wide. Instead of using 15 64 key still, I'm going to use 6 mil key still. So what I've done is I've left it set up in the rotary table. Because this is a 90 turn to one revolution rotary table, I'm going to use 22 and a half turns of the handle to get one quarter of a turn 
I've already m milled three of the slots. One, two, three. Uh, to 180 foul deep. So now if I turn this, I'll take the half turn first. Let me take me to there. And then go 22 from that. Twenty-two. Just check that with the So yeah, that lines up perfectly. You can see the that slot there. Bring the cutter down until it touches on. It is set at zero, so, so just there you can hear that. I'll take a cut of 20 foul. And I've got my table stop set, so I know exactly how long. That's our first cut, and I'll show you how it turns out. <laughs> 